Good morning, friends and family in Jesus. I hope that on this Thursday morning that uh, this week has been prosperous and successful for you. I hope that in this week you were able to uh, advance somewhere in uh, either the kingdom of God or uh, in your own personal life. And this morning, uh, I feel led to just to share a, um, a thought uh, that the Lord laid on my uh, spirit and my heart earlier in this week. Uh, in this week alone, there were two of our church members, a brother in Christ and a sister in Christ, they had had to go in uh, for surgery. And, you know, family, they, both of them are uh, so humble and both of them are so uh, in love with the church and, and with uh, the body of Christ that I don't even think they announced it to anyone. Um, they went in for the, the procedure and to my understanding, uh, from both of them, it went well. What I do want to share this morning is something that both of them shared with me before they went in. And both of them, they didn't know of each other. And it wasn't at the same time that this was said. But it was a feeling that manifested from both of them. And that feeling was that you know, going into something like that, you've got a, a a concern and you've got a worry and you've got a stress and and um, you know you you obviously a little bit anxious because you are putting your uh, life in someone else's hands. And thank the Lord God Almighty that the outcome was uh, positive and and was godly. And that the Lord will get the glory for that because I know that there will come a time where uh, both of them will want to testify about what the Lord did in this procedure. And so family, I just want to share something that we all know. But I, I just feel the Lord laid it on my heart just to share it this morning uh, with everyone. And, and if uh, our brother and our sister that went in for the procedure, if they are listening to this, uh, then hopefully this is encouraging to you this morning. So there's a, a parable and a story that Jesus speaks about in the Gospels concerning a sower, uh, a farmer that went out to sow seed. And um, we all know that story. Some fell on rock and, and uh, you know, some fell on the road and, and the birds came and took it and and so the, the sower kept on sowing until eventually he found good soil. Now, I don't know to how many farmers I'm speaking to this morning. But family in Jesus, if you really think about um, how a seed has to be planted and then has to grow, it's actually a strange way of of doing it. So a seed has to be buried sometimes deep in soil, deep in dark, dark soil. And then that seed has to be covered with that same soil. So that is almost a strange way to start off a prosperous life. And I think we will all agree to that. You know, if you think of, of starting off a, a good life or starting off a good journey, you are starting or, or you are thinking of being, you know, strong and, and you being clean and, and uh, you know, there's light around you and there's oxygen and you can, you can see where you're going. But Jesus tells the story about a seed that is planted deep in the ground and then covered with soil. And Jesus teaches us that that seed first has to die in that dark, covered in soil place before that seed can come to life. And 
you know, friends and family in Jesus, we all face situations in our life, just like our brother and our sister in Christ this week, where we feel that that is exactly what is, is happening, it is that we are, we are being plunged into this deep hole and the soil is being um, thrown on top of us and, and we feel restricted and we feel we can't get out and can't move forward. But according to what our King teaches us in the Word of God, that is the best place to be for growth. And if you want to go further and you think about what Jesus said in the Beatitudes and what Jesus said further in the New Testament about persecution. I mean, brother and sister in Christ, persecution is exactly that. It's, it's heaping a bunch of, of dirt on top of us permanently. And all that that dirt is supposed to do in our life is supposed to help us push through that dirt so that we can get to a place in our life where we are forced through that dirt and we get to the sunlight and we get to the place where where the the, the rain can touch us and and that's where that seed and that plant then starts to grow starts to shoot root and and starts to grow up to the sun and so family in jesus I don't know why I'm saying this this morning. I'm, 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 I'm being led by the Spirit of God to say this to my family in Jesus this morning. If you feel that you are somewhere in your life being restricted and, and people are just heaping dirt on you the whole time, that's how you feel. Then try in the name of Jesus to look at it through the eyes of Jesus. And look at it as you being planted. And an opportunity for you then to start to fight and to start to, to, to push through that dirt that's being heaped on top of you. So that you can get to a point where you have pushed and fought so hard that you have eventually broken through that dirt and you can now see the sun which is Jesus Christ, the Son of God. And so family in Jesus, as we go deeper and further into this week, and, and, and we are closing in on the end of this, this week, and I pray this morning with you, as family in Jesus, that in this, if you are in this, because somewhere in our lives, we find ourselves in this very situation. I am in this situation at this moment. My wife is in this situation. My children are. And I think every single one of us can give a testimony of where we feel that we are, we are being planted now. And there's one of two things that can happen to us when we are planted. The first thing is we can... We can decide not to take the nutrients that are in that dirt and we can, we can wither and we can die and we'll stay right there in that hole and we won't move forward in our lives. Or the second thing is that all of that dirt that's being heaped on top of us, every single piece of dirt that falls on top of a seed carries nutrients in it. That's how the Lord designed his earth. And then to, while we are pushing through that dirt, to grab a hold of that, those nutrients. You know, every single one of those insults that people have thrown at you, every single time someone at, at your workplace has tried to step on you to get your position, in your family, every time that somebody has fought um, with you because of, who you believe in or what you are following. Family in Jesus, don't take it as insults. Take it as, as, as motivation to keep on fighting and, and maybe even to fight harder to advance God's kingdom in your life and, and in the life of your family. Don't go and lie down and die. That's exactly what the enemy and what this world wants. 
That's exactly what your workplace wants and that's exactly maybe what your family wants. Stand up today, family in Jesus, and push through that soil so that you can eventually get to a place where you can see the Son, the Son of God, that is calling you to that life that He has for you. So if that is you this morning, I want to say to you this morning, brother in Christ or sister in Christ, whoever you are, I'm in the same boat as you. I'm in the same hole as you. I'm being covered with the same soil this very morning. And I'm saying to you that um, I want to I want to fight this fight with you. Myself and my wife, we are fighting this fight together. We are fighting it with our children. We are fighting it with our family um, at, at uh, Altham Baptist Church. So let us stand together this morning. Because there's one thing that can happen to a seed that the Son of God plants. And that is we can, we can sprout roots and we can start to grow. And we can grow into something so powerful that nothing and no one will be able to break us down again. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Father God, in the name of your son Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for this day. We thank you for your word and the truth of your word. We thank you, Father God, for, um, Lord, for, for your glorious authority in our lives, Lord. When you left this earth, you said to Peter and to James and John and the rest of the disciples that you have given them the authority now, Lord, to rule on earth. And you've given us that same authority, Lord, the same spirit that rose um, Jesus from the dead, is living inside of us today, Lord. We've got that authority. So I pray, Lord, that together we will break through the soil and that we will start to grow together as, as a family in Jesus, as the body of Christ, Lord, that we will be stuck together unified lord and that we will stand up together and grow together lord jesus so i thank you for that father god i pray lord that if there's anyone of my family in christ out there that needs motivation this morning i pray that the holy spirit of jesus will bless them with that motivation lord. So i thank you for that father god i bring you glory honor praise and thanks and i pray and i ask all of this in jesus name Amen. Amen. Thank you, uh, family in Christ. Um, I pray and I hope with everything inside of me that you will have a prosperous and a successful day today. I pray that you will be able to push through and press forward um, as the word of God teaches us. Um, I pray that you will continue in this race that we are all in together. And then when that trumpet sounds, that will be the, the victory line. Um, so stand firm. Keep on pushing forward. Um, until we meet again tomorrow. Be blessed in Jesus name. Amen.